I actually, I'm, I'm really liking that I'm seeing distros build off of the, like, packaging bases that are here. So, for a long time, like, every distro, you know, it's been, oh, I use, it's a Debian-based system, so everything is done through, through apt. Um, but we're starting to see distros that are experimenting with how you handle package management, not building a entirely new solution where it's using some new packaging standard, but using the base that is there and then trying to trying to resolve issues or trying to add functionality that doesn't really fit in that like base package management that, like you would normally see. Like obviously the, the the example everyone would normally go to is something like a vanilla OS, which does a lot of additional things over what you would normally see with a package manager. I think this is one of the areas where these smaller distros can start to experiment with things and really bring something unique to the space that isn't just... Like, I, I think a lot of distros, frankly, are just skins on top of their base, but stuff like this actually provides real additional value. Uh, I yeah, think... sent you like that Pikman help page. You can see what features are available, yeah. what you can do. Thank you for that. I think when Pika uh, started, you could we could probably have been called just another gaming distro that's mm. just a skin over Ubuntu or whatever. But mm -hmm. we've been building it for two years now, and if we can improve things, we will. There's mm -hmm. no. There's no reason to just use what's there when mm -hmm. it's not it doesn't work that well. Like mm -hmm. apt is great, but it can be slow. It can well it downloads one file at once, which is not the greatest thing ever when you've got people wait, with gigabit connections. Does it not have wait, really? Because Arch has had so this currently, Arch has had this for like five apt, years now. Yeah, currently apt will only download from more than one file at once if they're from different repositories, like different, <laughs> yeah, different repositories. So if you've got a big update from the same repository, it's, yeah, it doesn't help. <laughs> That's one of the things we're looking to improve in our app, the, the app changes we're, we're doing. Mm -hmm. I think the philosophy is they don't want to like cause excessive load onto the repository or something, but. It is the last what oh, I read in some of the app docs, but it, it doesn't make any sense to me really. Not not now. It probably did like ten years ago or something. Mm. Yeah, that I would understand if they said oh the multi threaded downloads are unstable and we can't we we're not sure if it's gonna download things correctly. Sure, uh, that that's fair. But additional load would be a weird that seems like a weird explanation. Like if again, if Arch can manage to make it work, I'm sure that I'm sure they can manage to make it work. Yeah, they I mean the the way that the repositories are structured mm -hmm. is a lot more complicated for Debian than it is for, yeah. for either Arch or Fedora, which I guess doesn't help. Um, but there's 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 no fundamental reason why you can't Nala, for example. Mm. Completely swaps out the download step and does it itself, mm. and then it'll install via via the bat. So that, mm -hmm. that's that's essentially what we're trying to achieve as well. Mm -hmm. uh. Well, that is that is cool to see. Like again, I I do think package management uh, package management tools like this actually are really cool. Um, now. You mentioned uh, some of the features it has. I had to scroll through here. It's not just. It's not just like apt and um, flat packs here. You can do AUR packages. You can do Fedora packages. You can do Alpine packages. Yeah, that's the APX things I needed for the right. Fedora developments. This, mm. these all are based on it. Mm -mm -mm. An APX. What was it? Project here. Right, that's from Vanilla OS. Yes, yes, yes. I, I that, that, that name was ringing a bell. I couldn't remember what it was, though. So that's over in the yeah, Vanilla that... OS project, then. 
Yeah, it's it's good, and mm. no need to reinvent the wheel. <clears throat> right. Yeah, and this is this is built off of another project, that being Distrobox. Distrobox really changed the way that a lot of people can approach pack. <clears throat> I can approach like packages and Linux distros because you can always do this stuff with Docker if you really knew what you were doing. But Docker is not approachable for a regular user. It requires a lot of work to understand how Docker functions. And then Distrobox came along, made it dead simple. Then you have things like Apex, which make it even simpler. And then you integrate that into other things and... Now you have a case where for applications you want to install, the base you have doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, that's true. Which is a very nice world to be in.